wish I could play along with you, Augie, but I busted a guitar string. Oh, no problem. I always carry extras. I'll get you one for my bag. Has anyone seen my dino sounder? Shh, I took it. I set it to make the sound of a T-Rex roar, and I left it for Augie to find. But a T-Rex roar is really loud. Exactly. Augie won't be able to resist trying to frighten Jumpy with it, which will prove that I'm right about him. Hey, Miguel! Yoo-hoo! Um, yes, Augie? I think you dropped your dino calling device. Here you go. I sure wouldn't want it to go off and startle Jumpy. <laughs> Maybe you're wrong about Augie, John. Maybe all tin horns aren't so bad. No, you can't trust a tin horn. And Augie shouldn't be riding with us. Oh, no. John. What? Uh, oh, uh, Augie, I, I, uh, I'm sorry, but... Uh... It's okay, John. I'm used to people not wanting us tin horns around. Here's that string you needed, Min. It's been fun riding with y'all, but I guess it's time for me to go. No, Augie, wait. John, how could you do that? If Augie wanted to play a trick on us, he had lots of chances. But he didn't. He didn't do anything wrong. Well, maybe he didn't. But I just wanted to get Jumpy home safe, that's all. Look, parasaurs. Maybe it's Jumpy's family. I think that's a yes. Yeehaw! Hey, how do you say hello in Parasaurolophus? John, wait! <laughs> Jumping this runs in the family. Min, we're gonna need your guitar. That could be a problem. Without music, we have no way to calm Jumpy and the herd down. Yes, we do. I never thought I'd say this, but we need Augie Tinhorn. It's Velocity Time Blitz. Yeah, and we'll catch those dinos. Yeah. What were you doing, Augie? You didn't try to play tricks on the Cassidy's or mess with them at all! Yeah, it's what we Tin Horns do! I know, but I just wanted to play music with Min. And even though you don't like it, Jumpy really likes my playing. Ugh, enough! You ruined our day! Come on, Ike, let's go home. <sighs> Augie? I told you, John. I wasn't riding along planning to scare Jumpy. I just like playing music. I know. I was wrong to think you were bad, just because you're a tin horn. I'm sorry, Ugly. And we need your help. That's Jumpy. He sounds scared. I'm coming, Jumpy! No, I didn't steal my own hat. Hey, where'd it go? took my hat again. Hold on. What's going on here? See for yourself. That pesky raptor of yours took my hat again. Maybe we were wrong about y'all. Yeah, it wasn't you ranch kids taking our stuff. It was John's pesky raptor. I know this doesn't look good, but I'm sure there's a good explanation. I already know what the explanation is, and that hat-stealing raptor is guilty. <laughs> Don't waste your time, John. We caught him red-handed. Whoa! He's getting away! After that thieving rascal! They took our stuff! Let's get, get them! Whoa! Hold your hadrosaurs! We don't know what happened yet. Let's see what this is all about. It's a nest. Now I get it. They're not thieves. They're parents looking after their little ones. Copies build their nests out of grass or fresh hay. But we took all the hay. <laughs> this little family needs our stuff more than we do. What do you think, gang? Let's help him out. Oh, okay. Wow. 
sometimes it's easy to jump to the wrong conclusion. And that's exactly what Blitz did. But with the help and support of his Dino Ranch family, Blitz not only learned something, he wound up helping a few fellow dinosaurs to boot. We shouldn't have blamed you for taking our things without knowing what really happened. Yeah, Clara shouldn't have done that either. She was so wrong. Me? It was you, Perry, that got me all riled up. Sounds like we're in for some rain. That'll be a welcome sight. My hat! I can't lose two hats in one day. Dino Rangers ride! <laughs> Miguel. Okay, Blitz, it's our turn next. I bet we can jump four barrels. Hey, kids! I need your help with something. Teddy is fetching a new weather vane from town, and I need y'all to haul the broken one down off the clubhouse roof. No problem, Ma. Consider it done. We'll have it down in two shakes of a raptor's tail. That's what I thought you'd say. Good luck. And be careful.
Thanks, Angus. Gracias, amigo. Yes, sir. -y. These hay bales make perfect stairs. So, who wants to climb up first? Oh, oh right, Clover. You be careful now. <laughs> and wait for me. Glad Clover's okay. I can't wait for Teddy to get here with a new weather vane. Me too. I bet it'll be shinier than a sheriff's star. Speaking of Teddy, he should have been back by now. Would you kids mind riding off to check on him? Sure thing, Ma. If Teddy needs us, we'll help him. Let's saddle up. Dino Ranchers, ride! Lara, doesn't look so happy. Maybe he's just too big to keep. He'll be happy to stay when he gets a taste of my raptor snacks. Ugh. They might smell bad, but a Spinosaurus will eat anything. Oh, Thunderfoot! Here, try one of these. Clan and hitching up to our wagon. Sweet peaches! He ate our wagon! I guess that answers your question, Clara. Stop that, you! Quit wrecking our stuff! Hey! And he ate my hat! Give it back! <laughs> Clara's making Thunderfoot angrier and angrier! Are you two ready yet? Nice disguise. Yeah, the Tin Horns will never recognize you in that getup. While Clover and I distract them, you two can use Miguel's tools to make a hole in the fence for Thunderfoot to escape. And we best do it fast. Dino Ranchers, ride! Sit! Heel! Down! Down, big boy! Aw, oh, come on, Thunderfoot! Ugh. Raptors, go settle him down! Ah, thanks to this dino catching, we've got no wagon, no raptors, and no carrots for lunch. Oh, nothing's working! If I could just find a way to train this big bad dino nuisance. Perhaps I can help. Who are you? I am the best Spinosaurus trainer in the world! Maestro Spino! And this is my Spinosaurus. Uh, Spiny. Wow! <clears throat> I said my Spinosaurus Spiny! Miguel, are you? <sighs> now, before you train a Spinosaurus, you must become a Spinosaurus. Like this. <clears throat> I don't know. I like that fancy mustache and all. But why should I listen to you? <laughs> listen to him, Clara. Do what he says. All right, why not? Roar! I'm a big, angry Spinosaurus! Min's plan is working. Now let's go open the fence. You still feeling a little nervous after your fall this morning? <laughs> Don't worry, Clover. We'll be with you every step of the way. Right. So if we were with you the whole way, do you think you could try to ride down there? It's coming from up there, on Mile High Mesa. 
Mesa. Then that's where we need to go. Vamanos, Tango. Hiya! Oh, Clover, are you feeling a little scared? <laughs> don't worry, we're right here with you. I have an idea. Why don't you close your eyes? Blitz and I will lead you across. <laughs> Grab Blitz's tail! It's Teddy! He's definitely up on the mesa! Come on, gang! It's okay, boy. Easy, Clover. Just take it nice and slow. You can do it! Just keep your eyes on us. And don't look down. Everyone knows the first thing anyone does when someone tells them not to look is look. Really? Hey, John, don't look behind you. Why not? What's there? Oh, <laughs> right. Come on, Clover. You can do it. I have an idea. Sometimes you can distract yourself from being afraid. We just need to get Clover thinking about something else. Okay. Thinking about what? Oh, how about a song? Come on, everyone sing along. Apple pies and butterflies, pterodactyls in the sky. When you're scared but have to try, sing this song to get you by. Woohoo! Yeah! You did it! Great job, Clover! 